what makes one athlete the fastest. Is it science or is it art? In a ski race, all athletes start at the same height, so should finish with the same velocity. Why is this not the case? Good skiers make efficient use of gravity, while poor skiers do not, sometimes with disastrous consequences. I wanted to measure what makes a good skier. Nobody could do this until I invented fusion motion capture. Here I am, testing the system. Wires going everywhere. This is the Blue Monster, my mobile laboratory. This is a sensor that attaches to the athlete's limbs. This is a GPS that attaches to the athlete's helmet. This is a pressure sensitive insole to measure foot pressure. Who does the system work? See for yourself. The video is used to check it's okay. With Fusion Motion Capture we can compare two or more runs, a virtual ski cross. Who will win the race? Orange takes the early lead with aggressive polling, but then Blue makes his move with an inside line. However, Orange wins by more than 0.1 of a second. Why? The difference is about gate 6. The orange athlete has more green accelerating forces than the blue athlete. But the effect is delayed. Science tells us how to be a champion skier. It challenges traditional race technique. The shortest path is not always the fastest path. Instead, make efficient use of gravity with smooth turns. Using traditional science and modern technology, for the first time, I measured what makes one athlete the fastest.